What is happening YouTube? It's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can play emulators, Game Boy Advance games, Nintendo DS games onto your iPhone device. Here we go. Before we get to anything else, Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of newest tips and tricks on your iPhone. Make sure you check out my merch down below, 1130.ca. Share this to your friends, and here we go. So as you guys can see here, I'm playing Mario Kart. And you'll be able to download any games for your uh, iPhone, so you could play Nintendo DS games and Game Boy Advance games. As you can see here, if you guys already know, the Nintendo DS bottom part is a touch screen, so you'll you'll be able to touch. But this part is not touch screen. So you guys can see there, you can choose whatever character you'd like, and you can go ahead and start a game. So let's get started. What you want to do is go to tweakboxapp.com, press install, and then press allow. In this case, I've already downloaded it, so I don't, I don't have to do that, so I'm just going to ignore. But for you guys, press allow. And then what you want to do is go to settings and go to general, profiles and device management. And then you're going to have to go to this window right here where it says tweak box, press install up here. And then install. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see an app called tweak box on your home screen. You can go ahead and open that up in there. It will be brought to this home page screen right here. So what you want to do is go to apps, tweak box apps, scroll down to GBA for iOS, press install. Once you've done that, you'll be able to press install again. In this case, I've already installed it, so I'm not, I don't have to do that. Um, we can go ahead and in install i and DS as well. This is for Nintendo DS games. Go ahead and install that, same idea, same method there. So once you've done that, once you press install, it should you should have this on your home screen, the INDS and the GBA for iOS. So once you have those, you won't be able to open it yet. You're gonna have to use, you're gonna have to trust it in the profiles and device management where you install the tweak box. It'll be under the enterprise apps. Go ahead and go in there. Make sure to press trust and then trust again and then make sure that you have verified on the side here for the apps that you wanted to install so once you've done that you'll be able to open up the gba in this case that it will be blank i've already installed a you know, fire red version of pokemon onto my gba for ios so it'll come up here but for you guys it would be blank in this case, we're going to need to install games into here. What you want to do is go to App Store now, and you're going to have to search Total Files or Total. Make sure to install and download that. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open it up. And then in this case, you're going to go to the side here, which is the web version. You're going to go to ROMs mode. Go ahead and search that out, Rose, romsmode.com. This is where you can download all your, your ROMs for your Game Boy Advance. So go ahead, let's go ahead and click that. Let's go and try out the Pokemon Emerald version here. Let's go ahead and download now. There you go, it'll take a few seconds before it starts downloading. So I'll just give it a second. Make sure that it's doing something up there, the the loading bar, and just wait it out before um, you start doing anything else or else it won't work. There we go. Prompt us to download. Okay, we can go ahead and download that. Done. There we go. Once you've done that, you, you'll be able to go back to your files right here, and then you'll see that it's going to start downloading up there.
the download time will depend on how fast your internet is at home and obviously because um, this is a torrent it depends on the peers as well so just be patient with it so once you've done that you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to open it now show in folder there we go we're gonna have to unzip this so go ahead and open it decompress okay once it decompress, you'll be able to see it up here on your folders right there pokemon emerald version u this is the actual file now so we can go ahead and send this share press that share button and go ahead and share it to copy to gba for ios there we go it'll automatically copy that there so once you've done that you'll be able to click it and then you'll be able to play it and there we go now in this case um, it's not touch screen because you guys already know this is uh, Game Boy Advance so there's no touch screen for that but yeah, you'll be able to use your keypads right here below there you go That is the best way so that you can play all your Game Boy Advance. Let's go ahead and go to INDS now. This again, this would be blank right here. So for you to download ROMs, you have to press that search bar up there. And then we're gonna go either use ROMs Mania or ROMs Mode. We're just gonna use ROMs Mode because it worked for us last time. So let's go ahead and um, download any game that you want here. Let's say we want Super Mario Bros pretty good so we can go ahead and download that again this will take a second to just wait it out it says here downloading it started already so let's press done right there this is a lot easier you don't need a third party app but this would take a bit longer because it's also a big, bigger file because it's a NDS so it'll start downloading just like that once you've done that, you'll be able to launch it by clicking this. So let's say let's just launch it normally. There we go. You can also have different settings here by clicking the settings button up there. Right there, you can change ROMs right here and then. You don't have to go back. You can also change the layout. You can have layout settings make your own profiles and stuff like that you can save state in between in between your gameplay this is the best way so that when you're let's say you're trying to catch a pokemon and you don't want to go back to the last saved game you can do this like you can save mid game and things things like that you can also play the game uh, slower or faster you can have cheats as well where you can you know press y for power ups camera key codes all sorts of things you can add cheats for that as well so that's pretty cool emulator settings you can disable the touchscreen volume bu button bumpers all sorts of things so you guys go ahead and play with that and there you go this is the best way so that we can have Game Boy Advance games and Nintendo DS games on our iPhone device well that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button so that you guys can see more of my videos uh, in a later time. More tips and tricks for your iPhone and Android. To check out my merch below as well, 1130.ca. Hit that like button, share it to your friends, and see you guys next time. Stay grateful.